This is a standard kind of related rate problem. The textbooks really love this kind of problem based on the Pythagorean theorem. So we have a ladder sliding down a wall. The ladder is represented by AB, and it's 10 feet long. And we're told that B is sliding at 0.5 feet per second, half a foot per second, this way. And that means that point A is sliding down the wall. And we want to know how fast A is sliding down the wall when OB is 8 feet. So first of all, let's just figure out what we can figure out. And of course, what we see here, we have a right triangle. We have a side of 8 and a hypotenuse of 10. And so this must be a 6, 8, 10 triangle. So from the Pythagorean theorem, we know that this has to be 6. So now a very important step. Anything that is constant in the problem, for example, the, la the length of the ladder, we can just leave that as a number. But anything that is changing, we need to represent that as a variable. Key idea, when something is changing, it needs to be represented as a variable. And so I'm just going to call this variable x, and I'll call this variable y. So we have a particular moment when we have individual values for that variable. But let's write an equation that relates those variables. And of course, those variables are related by the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared equals 10. So now we have an equation relating the variables. Once you have an equation relating the variables, the next step is to implicit, implicitly differentiate with respect to time. We're going to be taking d by dt of both sides of the equation. And so, of course, what we get is 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt, oops, 2y dy dt equals 0, because the derivative of 10 is 0. Okay, we can divide by 2. And then what I'm going to do is, let's just plug in numbers right now. And so we have x is 8. We have dx dt, the change in x, how fast x is changing, that's 0.5. At this particular moment, we have y equals 6, and we'd like to know dy dt. So moving that to the other side of the equation, we get 6 equals d, 6 dy dt equals negative 4. And then from there, dy dt equals negative 4, 6, or negative 2 thirds. And so that is how fast y is changing at this particular moment in time. That is the rate that we found, of course, related to the rate dx dt. And that, this is where the word comes from. dx dt and dy dt are the related rates. They are derivatives that are related by an equation.